Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. <laughs> Maybe it's my eyes are crooked or something. All right, so I wanted to do show you really quickly some of the paper collections that I've purchased. Um, I've got four, but one of them I'm, I'm not I'm not sure I'm going to show you, but three of them are Prima. They're all brand new and I'm going to start with my favorite. So I think this is probably this is probably going to be one of the paper collections. I'm going to need to make two specific prototypes, maybe more. And I think this is going to be one of those paper collections that I'm going to use for my prototype for my new set of templates, which is not out yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly flip through because I have three different collections. So I just want to show you what I bought. So this paper collection is called the Painted Floral. Let me move this out of the way here. And it's brand new. And this is the 12 by 12 paper pad and it's got foil on it and stuff. But this page right here is my favorite. I bought extras. So I, brought, I bought the shingle sheet, single sheets and it also has foil on it. So the, both the paper pad and the single sheets have foil on them. But I love this paper so much. I love this color combination, this color green. I've got a watercolor that this, that, excuse me, <clears throat> that's this color. Let me show you. Is it the, I think it's like the, let's see. Is it the Prussian green? Oh, it's pretty close. Oh, the Mayan blue. It's between these two here. And these are all Daniel Smith watercolors, by the way. I love them. And these are like little magnet palettes. Well, I made them into like little magnets, but super cute. And there's my favorite. The gold that I was kept, um, that I used in the last project, the one that kept popping off, I just stuck it in here so I could use it with uh, regular when I'm, you know, doing watercoloring. But anyway, so uh, that's. If you want to see how I made this palette, or if you want to, uh, if you want me to walk you through how I made this palette, let me know, and I will try to do a video on that as well. Um, but anyway, I love this color combination. Actually, in that pink, this was not wanting to sit in there. That pink is also in here. I am pretty sure that is. Well, it could be this Rose of Ultramarine. It could also be. Could also be one of these. Not that one, but like one of these. No. Yeah, oh, it's so pretty. Maybe the Carmine. I don't know. Anyway, I love this color combination. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I bought extra of that. I bought extra of that one and this one. But we'll get to that one in just a second. All right, see, I'm already taking too long. I'm already taking too long. So there's that. And there's one, two, three, four of each page. So there's the front. And then the back is this pattern here. So that's pretty. And then here's the next one, this is my second favorite. And it's got the pretty foil on there. So again, there's one, two, three, four. And then the back is this stripe pattern here. And then here is a cut apart page. Now, I have thoughts about this and I'm not sure I want to share them, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna because it's every time I see this, it just, <laughs> and it's, it's only because of the way I do my scrapbooking, my mini albums. This, it's the, this is the only reason I feel this way about this, but I feel like when you buy a paper pad, you might meet, you know, maybe one or two pages of cut apart is fine. You know, you can get use out of that, but we have four of the exact same cut aparts in this paper pad. And for what I do, how I make my albums, it's, I just feel like it's just, it's just too much. So, right, it'd be great if there was a beautiful paper on the back side of them, like maybe even one of the other prints, maybe even like this one or something on the back side. So if you didn't want to do the cut apart part, you could put it, you know, you could use the back side. Well, this one, I guess is okay, but it's kind of really plain and not that fantastic, right? It's just like a grid, like a square, grid pattern. So we've got four cut apart pages. Um, 
which, you know, I guess is fine, but I just wish there was like one in the back of the pad or something. I think they used to do it that way, and I really liked that. This one's really pretty too, this page here. It's got foil on it. It's got the same flower, the painted flower, and there's four of these. The back side of that is this, so it's like, um, it's kind of like an orange square grid pattern. And then this piece, this page here, so this could be fussy cut, which I kind of dig this idea of having the fussy cut pages. And on the back of that is sort of this almost southwestern looking pattern, black and white pattern. So that's kind of cool, the fussy cut. So there's four of those. And then there's this butterfly page, which is really pretty. You could also fussy cut these out. Uh, mostly because they don't overlap which is nice so you can fussy cut that and then the back of that is this pretty green color so there's four of those so that is the paper collection um, so I'm, I'm probably going to use this as and then I would bought my extra <laughs> shove those in there probably going to be using this in one of my prototypes if if you want and I'll link it down below I'll link everything down below to two different um, well, maybe three different. I might give you three different sources to uh, check these out if you want to check that out. And then these are the rub-on transfers. I've never tried their rub-on transfers, so this will be fun. There's like three pages of that. I don't know if I'm going to use them in my prototype, but um, I thought they'd be fun to try. And then let me show you all the other stuff I bought. I bought, there's a sticker pack. So there's, is there two sheets? It probably doesn't say. Yeah, two sheets. Two sheets of stickers. And then an ephemera pack. I'm not going to open them, but they got kind of some cool stuff in there. Some butterflies and labels and stuff. And then the chipboard stickers. So there's the front and the back. And then what else did I buy? I bought all these flowers. I don't know if I bought everything. Um, all of the flowers, but I'll just, we'll just quickly run through. Here's the Satan crystals, and then here's some of these pretty flowers, these little flowers. These are flat, so if you need flatter ones, and then look at the dimension on these. These are like, you know, half inch tall, but don't these look beautiful? They just look so ombre and swirled, swirled, <laughs> swirly. <laughs> I don't know why, but it reminds me of cotton candy really really random these flowers right here are gorgeous I love these I love these colors together as well look at I might have to get me some more of these I love these flowers let's set them aside get me some more of those <laughs> I love these these have a little bit of glitter on them um, but the, I love the color but they're all different sizes uh, or not sizes, all different, yeah, well, I guess they are sizes and shapes differently, but they're dimensional. And then here's this peachy orange color, all different uh, sizes and shapes of flowers there. These are great because these you can tuck in anywhere, but they're, they're large. So large flowers are always good for like covers and stuff. And then there's some, a variety pack of different colors, and it's got some smaller ones up top, like a variety. And then here's a bunch of uh, different color, shape, sizes. I love this color combination. Um, and that's all. That's all I bought for this paper collection. So let me put this aside. So again, I'm probably going to be using this one for one of my prototypes. Okay, paper collection number two. This is the Farm Sweet Farm paper collection, again by Prima. It's one of their new releases. Oh, I bought extra, my favorite. Did I just buy the one? Okay. Um, I might be using, this is another one that I might be using in the prototype because again, I have to make two, I, we'll see, but this is, this is in the running. I'm, I know the other one for sure, but I feel like I'm going to use this one too because I don't know. I just feel like it's calling my name. <laughs> so let's see, this is a 12 by 12 paper pack and it does not have foiling on them. Interesting. Help. Some of them have foil, some of them don't. The, the the paper pad does not have foil, but the loose papers do have foil. So I don't I don't know. 
I don't know you guys, so I did buy a few extra of my favorite. So let's do a quick flip through of these of this paper. And again, you get four of each. This one's got ledger in the background. Let's see, one, let me make sure. Yeah, four of each. I love this one. This is the paper right here. It is right here with the foil on it. So you see that? So yeah, it's pretty either way though, right? So and then on the back side of this one is this really pretty weathered wood, which I think is pretty. Kind of looks like uh, almost like snowfall, but I don't think it's meant to be snowfall. And then again, here's another cut apart. This, I mean, the more I look at this, the more I think I am going to be using it um, for my prototype. Anyway, so this one's a cut apart. Um, really pretty images. What's on the back side? Oh, the back side on this one's a little bit better, in my opinion. Has a little bit more going on. There is some script, and there looks like there's map, and then there's um, obviously this pattern on there. So that's a little bit more interesting than the last paper collection, the back side of it. Okay, so there's four of these. I really love this. I love this. I love this color combination as well. But I feel like I'm going to have to add a color. What do you think? Maybe add like there's some um, robin eggs blue. Robin egg? Robin egg blue. Yeah. <laughs> In here and there's some blues. Maybe I'll add a blue. This one's got a squirrel on it. It's so cute. Is that a squirrel? And then the back side of that is it really pretty. I love this color. This Actually, this color and that other paper collection, they look like they'll go pretty good together. And then here's like a chicken wire uh, window page or something. And then on the back is kind of plain. I don't know what that is. Looks like it might be a tile pattern or something. So that's really pretty. And then this one is mostly black and white, but it's got these tiny little pink flowers on there. On the back side of that. I think this is supposed to be black and white, but it kind of looks a little greenish in this paper pad. Oh, I love this paper. Ooh, I didn't have to buy more of that. I always like to have extras of my favorites because um, I usually end up using my favorites as covers. <laughs> I don't know why, but the, anyway, I love this. I love this. Oh, it says honeysuckle. Um, and on the back side of that is this. I don't know what it is. It's just a bunch of, uh, it looks like advertisements and stuff or, or something like that from a newspaper or something. And then that's it. So there are how many background designs? Six double-sided backgrounds, I guess. Four of each. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess that's 12. 12 uh, backgrounds. Gosh, you guys, I'm, I'm just not sure I'm ever going <laughs> to feel better. I'm feeling this the same day as I filmed the last video, but still. Um, all right. So, yeah, so I bought some extra of those. So there's the paper collection. So pretty. And then let's see what other goodies I bought. And the reason I'm telling you guys this, that I'm going to be using this as... Um, uh, in my prototype is because a lot of you guys want when you see my prototypes you want that paper collection you want to make it and if the paper is usually not available by then so paper collections do sell quickly and all the bits and pieces sell quickly so if you want to you know just grab you the paper collection and a pack of flowers or, or the ephemera we always use the ephemera so about grab you the paper collection and, and some ephemera and at least you got something where you can make um make something that looks kind of like it. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so I got the ephemera pack, which has a lot of really cute little die cuts in there. And then the chipboard stickers, also really cute. These are foiled, both of these are foiled. Mom, I have to change my battery, I think. Really cute. And then an assortment of flowers. Look at, look at that, look at that. I mean, look at that, that is so pretty. I love this pack of flowers. I love that swirly look to it. It's so, I don't know, yummy looking. And here is a pack of multiple flats and thicker and colored and all of that. These are all paper. This is paper. Oh, look at the little buds up there. Aren't those adorable? No, those are cute. 
these in the paper. These are paper. These are multi. Oh, this one's got a butterfly in it um, with different sizes of flowers. I love that. These look like they're fabric. They almost look canvassy. Oh, they might be canvas. So these are different sizes and colors of canvassy type flowers. And then these are paper, just some different variety there. These are a little shiny. I don't know if I like them very much. Huh? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of days gone by flowers that they used to make. They're okay. I'm not sure these are my favorite. I love this paper. Or this paper. I love this little flower pack of the multiple sizes and colors. I think those are really sweet. And I love the colors together. And then here's some small flat ones with a little bit of bling. It looks like champagne gold bling in the middle of them and then these are look these are canvas flowers as well and these are really pretty i like these i like these a lot so there's that collection i um, probably will be using this as with a prototype not all these flowers of course so you just pick you some of your favorites um, if you want to grab a couple packs but let me get the uh last collection last primer collection and i'll be right back Okay, and then there's this paper collection here. Hang on, I should have got it out of the package. <laughs> uh, again, I'll have all these things linked down below for you to check out if you want to. Oh, I'm not even, have I even looked at this? this thing yet? I don't, ouch, I don't know what the heck. Interesting. I feel like I probably did. Or I know what I did. I, I looked at the um, I looked at the eight by eight paper. There we go. So this one is called I don't know how to pronounce it. Meal, meal, me, I, me. I don't know. I haven't watched a single video about this paper collection, so I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. This one is by Frank Garcia. So they released, I don't know, a bunch. I feel like there was like five or six paper collections this time around. I don't know. I, I didn't get them all. I just got the ones that I thought were pretty uh, to me. Um, I, I didn't want, I think there's an indigo or something like that. There's a, oh, there's a couple. I can't remember what they were, but the, the color palette. I didn't really care for the color palette very much. So I just, you know, I decided to skip on those. But this one has eight double-sided designs, and there's three of each page. So, that's pretty cool. But it's so, I mean, it's so soft and delicate. And This would be a great Easter paper collection, wouldn't it? All right, first page is a cut-apart page. <laughs> oh, but it has ledger on the back. Okay, so, th for me, this is much more versatile. I don't know if you can... If you can see how well you can see, it's such a light, such a light paper with that on the back of a cut apart sheet because you could use this anywhere. Um, these cut aparts are really pretty, really, really, really pretty. I love the colors, I love the butterflies, I love the eggs, they're adorable. Um, yeah, and then the ledger on the back side, which again is super pretty. It almost looks like a real ledger page, obviously, it's not, it's, it's cardstock, but. Um, and then here's this page. This one has foil on it. I, I don't know. It does, does the first page have foil? I don't know if the loose pages have foil on them or not. This one does have foil. But look at the little, I think that's a beehive. Yep, there's bees and some butterflies. And there's ledger on the back. Uh, or in the, in the background of this page. I really think this is pretty. And then there's this on the back of that page. Just the flowers. Really soft soft color palette. I love it. And well this is interesting. This is a cut apart, another cut apart. But these are tall and skinny. So these are six by two. Oh no, six by three. Six inches tall by three inches wide. This is really pretty. This is a really pretty paper. I love these. I love these. I love this cut apart paper. What's on the back side? Oh and that's pretty. Look at that. You know, I almost didn't buy this collection, <laughs> I, but it's super pretty. This is a really pretty paper collection. 
I love all these, the vintage imagery and the butterflies and stuff. And I love, I love, I love this. That's really pretty. Okay. So you got three sheets of that. Oh, this is pretty. It's kind of like a scene. This would be a great a place where you could fussy cut around to make a pocket. That would be fun. Or you could fussy cut around the top here and make a top corner pocket. You could cut this part out um, for photo. Yeah. And on the back side, ooh, that's really pretty. I like that. <laughs> I guess I'm going to say that about every single page, huh? Frank Garcia has really pretty, a uh, really pretty aesthetic. Like he's got a really, really, um, I don't know. I love, I love the way he designs papers. And here is a, another cut apart page. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. I think these are like supposedly journaling card size. So that's kind of pretty. These are like four by six journaling cards and these look like they might be three by four journaling cards or they could just be all one it looks like but there's looks like there's some faux washi and stuff like that really pretty i like this i like this now on the back is little strips of i guess they're supposed to look like washi but it kind of more looks like a fabric washi or maybe just strips of fabric that might be that might be all it is but i love this blue green color oops with this soft pink of course <laughs> Oh, look at this big, this page. I love this. Okay, sorry, I'm whispering. <laughs> this one has foil in the background with the little wreaths on top. That's pretty. And on the back of this one is this pretty stripe, diagonal stripe that has some, um, looks like ledger in the background. Could you see that? Okay, so there's that. And then a, a page of tag, tags, cut apart tags. And on the back of that is the pretty pink, um, I think it's the pink version of this green paper. Let me double check before I say that. Yeah, so it's the same little flower version, except it's pink. So these are cute. So we've got three sheets of those. And then this page, this kind of reminds me of old vintage Prima as well. I forget what paper collection it was. I've seen it not too long ago and I thought, oh, that's pretty. Um, but I love this collaged page. That's really nice. And on the back of that is this. It kind of looks like wallpaper. And then that's it. So there's that paper collection. And then I did buy it in the 8 by 8 I think this was, out of the three, this was the only one that had an 8 by 8 paper pad. And I also bought one of the vellum sheets. This has a little bit of foil on it. I thought it might be fun to, um, I mean, it's only one sheet though. That's what kind of stinks. It's only one sheet. So if, we, if I use it as a page or whatever, you know, I still think it would be fun. I don't know. So I bought that to experiment. I'm going to stick that inside here so it doesn't get messed up. And then of course the eight by eight is the exact same thing. Just scaled down just a hair. So pretty though. I can't say whether or not I'm going to use this in the mock-up or not, or in the prototype or not, but it is pretty. I, ca I can't guarantee I'm going to use it, but I can't say I'm not going to use it either. It's really, really pretty. There's the Say It in Crystals. I don't think I bought everything for this collection either. I might, now that I think about it, it's possible. This is a possibility because there's, a, uh, there's another uh, part of this new set of templates that this would probably lend itself well to. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, here's an ephemera pack. There's what's included. Boy, I just, I can't do, go through these very quickly, can I? Here's another ephemera pack. I like it when they have several different ephemera packs. And then here's the chipboard stickers. Very pretty. And then there's some puffy stickers. I don't know, I'm a sucker for puffy stickers, but I almost never use them. I need to quit buying them. <laughs> Maybe I'll give them to my granddaughter. Okay, so there's that. And then what else? This one has a bunch of stuff that goes with this paper collection. So these metal charms, are these not precious? Especially if you like bees. 
My mom was a beekeeper, so those are really, really pretty. And look at these gemstone charms. Aren't those precious? And then here's bees and butterflies. I love those. Those are so cute. Those would be, this, would, this collection would also be really good for a scrap journal. Mm -hmm. And then there's these two interesting things here. One is this ruffle lace trim, and the other is this embroidered fabric sheets. So there's three different sheets, and they're 12 by 12. I haven't opened this up. And I only got the one pack, and I'm kind of wondering if I should have got another one because I wanted tea dye or coffee stain or something, maybe. So here's one of them. Oh, that is so pretty. It's, it's white, of course. I don't know what it looks like on camera. But I like it. You can see it better once it's opened up. And then, what's this one? Oh, that kind of looks like, well... I thought it was hearts, but either way, that's really pretty. I like that. And then there is this one. So these are all really pretty, right? So this is new, right? This is kind of a unique idea for paper collections, paper companies to bring out, you know, swatches of fabric. And then this ruffle trim, I almost didn't buy this. Not sure, I mean, it's okay. I don't, it's just, I don't know if it's my thing or not. So, yeah, so okay, I see. So it's got this on top and then this on bottom. You could probably, oh, does it, is it on top and bottom? No, you could probably cut those apart too and have two different, you know, one ruffle, one not ruffle. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan, but I'll try. We'll see. We'll see if I mess with it any. And then the flowers. Okay, here's some flat, flat, flat flowers. <laughs> Looks like they have like a little bit of champagne gold uh, gemstones in the center. These are canvas flowers. Those are paper. And these are like a canvas these are really pretty. Isn't that just a pretty color palette? Ooh, this is pretty. I like the different sizes and shapes of flowers in that. Um, I love this color palette, and I feel like Prima does a, a, a form of this color palette at least once a year. So you probably may have leftover flowers from other paper collections that this would go with. This would go really pretty with it. Um, this one has some glitter on there. Those are paper, and these are paper. These are shiny, and these are shiny. They're paper, or are those just glittery? I can't tell if they're shiny and glittery. I don't know, glittery? Um, I don't know, I'm not sure I'm a fan of the shiny flower. I don't mind the glitter ones so much. But anyway, we'll see, maybe, I, maybe I'll prove myself wrong and, and love them. These are pretty. And then these are, these have glitter all over them. And I feel like, like this, like this pack here, I feel like could go with so many different paper collections over the years. So you may have some of these exact same things in your stash already, so check it out. And then this one, this paper, it has a butterfly in it, oh. So yeah, so there is that. I guess I can show you the one other thing. So this one's a maybe. I may or may not use this for one of my prototypes. Okay, so then this is the other paper collection. I, was, I bought it because, A, I love the color combination. I think it's beautiful. And B, I don't think I've ever used this paper before, this, this brand, and it's made in the UK. And I don't know if it's, it says Bloomin' Beautiful, but I think it's the Paper Boutique. But what, what intrigued me about it was, and it only came in eight by eight, but what intrigued me about it was it's uh, a kit, a paper kit. So I was like, what? What is that? So this is the kit. This is the, uh, the kit. <laughs> so it has decorative pages, six designs, 32 die cut toppers, and eight designs. Okay, so that, 
that I'll have to try to interpret. Um, it's an 8 by 8 paper collection. And let's see, how is this? What do you get? One, two, three. How many of each? Six designs. Um, I guess we'll just look. We'll just have to look. Uh, it's not super thick. It says it's 160, 300 GSM. I don't know what that means. But it's not real thick like Prima. It's kind of somewhere in between regular paper and uh, Prima paper. <laughs> But anyway, look at how pretty these colors are. I love this, this blue in here. And they're not double-sided. They're single-sided. So this is great for matting, you know. You, you may not want to print on these, but it's great for matting things. Pink and white stripe. Look at this paper. That is so pretty. I'm loving this aesthetic. Oh, that's pretty. So there's like a blue and white polka dot. That's pretty. Kind of looks like a... A lattice. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be the six designs. And how many do you get of those? Yep, one set, two. Three, four, five, six. You get six of each design. And then these are the die cuts. So these are cool. These are circles and they're die cut for you. And is there anything on the back? No, they're plain on the back. It's It says... There's scissors there, but they're already die cut. So I thought these were pretty cool. So you get one, two, isn't that pretty? Three, four, you get four of those, four sheets of those. And then these are some square ones. And then, is there anything on there? I guess you could use these little pieces up here. These little sayings over here, just for you, for someone special, all that. Those are not die cut, but these, these squares are. I love this. So you get, I'm assuming you get four of these as well. Whoop. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Okay, so then that's it. So it looks like there was other things that I could have bought where you could just get the paper. I got this, the paper kit you could what is this i can't embellishment pad i didn't get that i didn't get the the colored cardstock and i cannot read what that says i don't know something collection so Creative World of Crafts. I don't, is that the brand? Creative World of Crafts. That paper boutique. Well, anyway, I was just intrigued, so I bought it. I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to use it in any of my prototypes. But eight by eight papers, or even something like this, period, would be good for like uh, traveler's notebooks. So if you wanted to, like, literally take one of these sheets. Oh, I better not take that top one. <laughs> Because I don't want to, I don't want to lose the, um, I don't want to lose the cover there. Take one of these sheets here, and then you can just literally fold it in half, like that. And that's basically a traveler's notebook size. So, I mean, it's not the exact size of a traveler's notebook, but you could totally take this paper pad and make a traveler's notebook. You can use them as pages. You can use them as covers. Whatever you want to do. Isn't that pretty? Anyway, it's just an, it's just an idea. Just a thought. All right, you guys. So that's all I have uh, to show you, I think. And those are just the paper collections. And I guess I'll do one more video where I'm showing you some different things that I bought. Like that are not, you know, like not a paper collection or anything like that. They're just different odds and ends. So I'll make a different video for that one as well. I think. All right. So I hope you enjoyed checking out the paper collections. I'll have everything linked in the description box down below. 
and uh, and in different places. So wherever you shop, hopefully there'll be a place for you to get it. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment and let me know. Let me know which one you like the most. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time. Bye.